Republican Florida Governor Ron DeSantis delivered messages about California, New York, Illinois, and President Joe Biden during a State of the State address that was more of a listing of what the governor's done the past five years than it was a vision for the state's future. DeSantis, who is running for president and is expected in Iowa later Tuesday to continue campaigning ahead of next week's critical caucuses, touted his efforts to protect Floridians from mask mandates during the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic, expand gun rights, restrict abortion, and get rid of diversity and equity programs at state universities, what was missing were specifics on how he will continue to lead the state in the future if he doesn't get the presidential nomination, my message is simple, stay the course. The state of our state is strong. Let's keep doing what works, DeSantis told lawmakers on the first day of the legislative session. By ...while we continue to see a massive invasion across this country. Federal government's not doing anything to stop this. We in Florida are picking up the slack. We've now sent over 100 Florida state troopers and dozens of fish and wildlife officers to help Texas with border operations. Through your support, we have banned sanctuary cities and we've also instituted policies to deter illegal immigration into our state in the first place. The Biden border crisis has made every state a border state and thanks to your efforts, Florida is fighting back on behalf of our people. In D.C., they're failing to get inflation under control. While we cannot control federal monetary or fiscal policy here in the state of Florida, we can take what is already one of the lowest per capita tax burdens in the entire country and make taxes even lower. The national debt now stands at an astounding $34 trillion. In New York City, there's a famous debt clock that shows the national debt going up in real, real time. I'd like to see one of those made for Florida's debt. Only a Florida debt clock would be counting down, not up, because we have paid down nearly 25% of our state's debt over the past four years. Imagine that.